Hi guys, it's Megan, and welcome to Thursday Ray. Today, the topic is hair pin. The type of, type of hair pin I'm going to talk about today are the classic bobby pins. Now, these just, these are probably the most commonly no kind of, kind of pin, and basically all you do is you just slide them into your hair, see if I can get this open, but these are really great if you're just trying to, like, keep some of those, like, floopy hairs on your head, and I need to figure out a better way to position this, but there we go. Uh-oh. The best way to position, to use these ones, is just to, um, slide them in, and they're good to keep hairs out of the way, and that's really their main purpose, is they just keep your hairs out of the way. So that is the classic bobby pin. Next type of pin I'm going to talk about is the hair pin. Now these ones are a little bit different compared to the bobby pin. The bobby pins are closed, are a lot closer together, and the hair pins, they're wider apart. So here's a visual of what they look like. Now the hair pins have a tendency to lose the protective coating on the ends. And you see here, this is one that's lost it. These ones really hurt to put in your hair, so just throw those away. But this is what they should look like. And the, see, they have the ends on there. And the ones that don't look like this. So these ones are bad. These ones are good. Now, when do you use the hair pin? The hair pins are really good if you have a bun like this, just to secure the bun in place like that and they just keep everything in place and they're really nice when you use the bobby pins to secure your bun it's a lot harder because if your bun's really tight it can hurt to get them in and it's a pain to take them out they are really secure but these ones are a lot less painful when putting into buns and they're perfect for just buns dance buns ballerina buns and um it, they're used a lot in wedding are you guys ready? the last kind of hairpin i'm going to talk about are my absolute favorite of all time yeah the bobby pin you can just use to clip this out of the way so yeah so my absolute favorite alt or at my absolute all-time favorite hair pins are the spiral bobby pins now at first glance most people think these look really scary but I promise I promise there's nothing to be scared about they're just these awesome bobby pins all you do is if you have a big bun you just twist it in like this it doesn't hurt, it's just going in the layers of the hair. And the other thing I get is that girls with curly hair, they're like, oh, those would never come out of my hair. Do you see my hair? If you watch my other videos, I have very curly hair, and all you have to do is find the end and twist out, and they stay in. Now, these bad boys are worth 20 normal bobby pins. So yeah, they're worth 20 of these, or 20 of these. I'm not sure which one they're worth 20 of, but these both work, so yeah. Another bobby pin to get this hair out of the way. But yeah, the these ones are incredible. When I did dance, I would sp I, I, I would do pirouettes and um, turns and things, and I would turn and these would start flying out of my hair. And my dancing just like, guys, watch out for um, Megan. She has all these hair pins flying out all over the place. Oh, hi. This is my cat, Felix. He decided to come see me. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so these ones are incredible. Or I'm sorry, these ones, they stay in my hair when I did dance. Okay, they come in packs of two and they're expensive, but they are totally worth it because you only need two and that's worth 40 bobby pins and two will keep your hair up in a bun. I personally use four and what I do is I just put them in an alder air and like if I were to draw a cross over my bun, I just screw them in. And so yeah, just put it in, kind of get the top and the bottom of the hair of the bun and then just twist. And back here. And back here. And then, voila, your hair is ready to dance and it's not going to fall out. I already had a couple of pins in there and I think I just had the bobby pins because when you do have curly hair, the bun's looser and there's not as much hair, so it's easier to get away with using the bobby pins and I tend to find they hold a little better, but if you have straight hair, it's going to be a lot less painful if you use the hair pins. So that is it for my bobby pin rave. I hope you enjoyed this clip, and if you did, please subscribe below and um, f catch all, all, all of my, 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 my other videos. So, until next time, this is Thursday Ray, and be true to you. Bye, everybody. Say bye. Bye.